focus on the goal. Anything is possible. What's the holdup? Something bothering you? Time's not waiting. What troubles you? Hmm? How may I help? I am prepared. Just letting the ink dry. I won't let you down. I'm listening. Ready and willing. And Lindsay was called forth. Ready for anything. Share your trouble. Here! I move unseen. I know what to do. As it should be. Lies. Armag's entire life, a lie. Armag is not Armag. The sword says it is Armag. The sword, it calls Armag an imposter. What now? What? What to do? Who is Armag now? Hush, my boy. Calm. You really are Armag. There have been no lies. But your soul has slept in the sword for so long, it just doesn't recognize you. It will soon, though, and everything will be all right. You know you are a hero, a great chieftain, the greatest of all chieftains ever born into this world. Remember that. Hold on to it. Great deeds await you. Soon. Very soon. Stop lying! Armag is not even Armag anymore! Was never Armag in the first place! Armag is like the eight mothers now. No name. No tribe. No destiny. What's left now? What? Only revenge! Tear them!
them apart! This should do it. Consider me provoked. Be merciful to the enemy, even as cruel as this savage. Stop his suffering, here and now. The eight mothers fed Armag, raised him, taught him everything he knows. Since he was born, Armag knew no other family and no other tribe. They told Armag of his great past and his even greater future. And every word was a lie. Armag was just their trained dog. He jumped when told, growled, tore their enemies to pieces. He had no idea for what or why he was fighting. One more thing. Once, Armag heard them talk about another sister, the one they all served. When he asked, they lied, said there was no ninth sister, that Armag had misheard them. He should have understood then that they weren't to be trusted. Those who lie once are not to be believed twice. Armag, the great chieftain of the past, was buried here. Armag, the great chieftain of the present, was born again. He had to return here to reunite with his soul, the one sleeping within the soul, to become whole again, to restore his power, to reign over the land again, to challenge the gods again. That's what the Eight Mothers told Armag. They lied. They were lying all along. Armag took the sword and spoke to Armag's soul. The sword said Armag was not Armag, but just an impudent brat. Ancient Armag's rage blazed like a torch in the night. All that was hidden was unveiled at once. Everything. The eight mothers raised Armag. And since childhood, they kept saying, Armag was a great man with a great destiny. Lies, lies and more lies. Armag is not Armag. Armag is just a toy for the eight witches. But no more. Armag's life is over, but at least he dies free from all lies. <laughs> <laughs>
A lie is what Nyrissa and her servants live, and I was part of that lie. Ancient Armag, great chieftain of the past, invincible hero, Gorham's champion. He served only Gorham. Not his people, no. Only Gorham. When he killed, it was not to feed his people, not to gain glory, not for wealth, not for power. No, it was the other way around. He fed his people to make them better killers. The blade was thirsty. It quenched its thirst on the blood of Armag's fellow tribesmen. Ancient Armag was a great warrior, that much is true. But he was a bad chieftain. He would send his people to their deaths for no good reason. Armag wasn't a hero. Armag was a kin slayer. Ah. This ancient Armag was a scum, if what you say is true. And some just love to venerate some dead wretch. The Eight Mothers used to say that today's Armag is a great chieftain, just like ancient Armag. He would defeat anyone he wanted as soon as he could find his soul. They said all he needed to do was find the tomb. Then he could conquer Restov, conquer all of Bravoy. Just find the tomb. But did ancient Armag need some stupid tomb? No, he just fought and won. If Armag is really Armag, he would be bound to win. But this Armag is not that Armag. He led his people into a trap, realized too late that he won't be able to take rest of. And that's when the Eighth Mothers told him they had found the tomb. Armag entered the tomb to become stronger, to save his people, to bring them glory and riches. But all he found was death. Ancient Armag and present Armag have that in common. Nothing. The sword is cursed. It controls the hand that wields it. If Armag is freed, he'll kill again, just as in the past. Not for glory, not for riches, just killing for the sake of killing. This cannot be. Armag must be buried in Armag's tomb. 